because of the timer. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Hogwarts. Let's load in and see how it goes today. There's a spider in the corner? Yeah. How fun. I'm glad Frank has joined us. As long as he stays up there, he is good. <laughs> oh, you guys do hit each other. Oh, that is going up. We need to go down. Feels good to me. Whee! This is not half as glitchy as last time. Yeah, yeah. the thingies. Okay, there's the double one. Where's the single one? There it is. Okay. <sighs> one plus spider is 13. Spider is 8. So 9 plus what is 13? 4. Two, three, four. The fuck am I going? No, I skipped the zero. The the little the little this guy on the bottom is zero. All right, 13 plus three-headed dragon looking thing. Oh no, I get your I get As 21. Your, I get your reasoning now. Never mind. I was about to say this is what this thing I have. All right, three-headed dragon guy is three. So 16 plus five. One, two, three, four, five is the little crab looking guy. Give me chest. I don't want a stuffed dragon toy. Weird 
good-looking roughhouser gloves. I want something cool. It wasn't an actual toy, it was like a card. I want like an actual toy. Go return this chick's balls. Gotta go return this chick's balls. Now I gotta go return them. Cause people hid her balls. Yes. They they hid her smelly balls. Now I gotta go return them. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. I keep trying to use the E button because that's how you interact Hello, in the Sylvia. other game. I found all of your gobstones. Really? I found I all of your smelly balls, ma'am. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well. <clears throat> May I have my gobstones back? Can I have my smelly balls back? Of course. They are yours after all. Oh, how wonderful. I, make my own. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Okay. That was fun. What was I supposed to be doing? That is not what I wanted. I wanted the map. I think I went there. Is where I'm supposed to be. I'll be. This is where I'm supposed to be. Ah, I believe- I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. A Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. Okay. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. 
You know where to find me once you've finished. Quest started. I gotta figure out where the hell to go. Seems crossed ones isn't as secret as it's believed to be. Don't get distracted. Stay on task. Hello, sir. Whee! Ah. Oh, not again. Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice a mole? As long as we're only a week, I can plunge the boys' lavatory, not the sink. <laughs> Lumos. Levioso. Don't know why that's highlighted, but anywho. Something with this game and having to have popcorn. I don't know what it is. And my child started it. With offering me his. Can I help you? Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does crossed ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists. And whoever is still standing in the end, wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And, to liven things up, the winner is awarded the prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Cross Bonds, you could duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! Spectacular, spectacular. We'll make you regret signing up. What the fuck is that hat? I think I want one. Mine's the one! 
have to heal. That looks painful. Can't you try another hand? <laughs> we'll see if he joins me. I got the door open. Yes, don't count me out yet. Brilliant! There goes my wager. Send us. Is that all you got? Lumos. Take the ring. Lumos. Painful. Care to try another round? Yes, don't count me out yet. Brilliant! potions for the next round we're fucked nice work sebastian wasn't wrong about you there's strong competition ahead but keep this up and you could be the next school champion brilliant count me in i shall in fact the second jewel is ready when you are and as a fully initiated member you now have access to the official crossed ones training dummy very good way to master spell combinations come and see me and i'll set it up Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. The Ready to have a game? try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Oh, that is not what I meant to do. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Ones all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? 
No. I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Definitely not dueling yes, alone. Sebastian. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. I was worried about my health. Bravo! I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the godstones, so to speak. Assignment's all finished. Okay. Back to places. Perhaps I should stick to potions. Perhaps you should, ma'am. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be such a bitch. Maybe. Maybe not. Hello, let me out. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Rebellion. In here? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oops. Didn't make me nothing. Oh, bye, Peeves. <laughs> open says me. Couldn't open the door. you'll open that door but the other doors you just wanted to look like an idiot at to go this way, to go up and around this way, to go up over here this way. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and- I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hecate. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. 
I'm sorry to say, I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. Oh, and remember, on. focus on the proper on wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Baby, that's a pony. Good work. Feel free to practice in the classroom before you go. I've set uh -oh. up a few targets for you. Incendio! Getting it! Keep at it! And do try not to incinerate yourself. is certainly cathartic, isn't it? Haha, <laughs> fire! How many people can I set on fire? can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I Do I get in trouble for setting them on fire? Spare a moment? I could use your help. Ooh, new you quest. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. Um. Thanks. That's nice to hear. I've had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your reputation is, in fact, warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a... a... puff scheme. Oh, they seem innocent, but their tongues can be most disturbing. Exactly. I wish more of our fellow students agreed with you. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puffskeen Dunkeen. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the herbology professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Hmm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Let's finish what we started first. Weird people. 
There you are. I lost that piece. It's gone forever. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hecate. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig, I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Sebastian mentions sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Sebastian. She is having way too much fun in that picture. Just saying. Sebastian, there you are. There you are. You promised me an explanation for what happened in the three broomsticks. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Seems he's working with Ranrock. And Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. It's quite the tale. Fig had this port a key. A port key? To Gringotts? I'm not sure I follow. I barely follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Professor Fig has insisted that I not tell a soul about any of this. I've probably said too much. Understood. Your secret's safe with me. Whatever it is. Thank you, Sebastian. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Rendezvous at the library. Let's see how many times I get caught. Because I don't. 
don't know how to walk. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean, I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. Whoever, you are most certainly up to no good out in the castle now. Be on your way. Okay. Okay. path is to go this way, so I'm better going the other way.
where you gonna go? Close. Gotta get him further away. I can't get that one away from the door, though. than a job and all. I wonder what I need to do. Inside.
no high marks in discretion for you. Move along. I hit the wrong one. That's my popcorn, sir. Yeah, that's my popcorn, sir. Sir, that is my mouse pad your butt is on. I cannot with you right now. That doesn't go very far, even with targeting.
got them all on that side. I want them all on this side. Is someone sneaking about? still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. Sam, you told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. You distract, I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Sebastian, pause off the screen. The key, here it is. wasn't so difficult after all. Now, to find that book. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. see you.
should be in the clear. There's no need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given Rebellion. up. Rebellion! Why do you think you'll find a cure in the restricted section? Matron have nothing that can help Anne. No! We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. I'll be quieter than a job and all. Who have we here? Sebastian Solo and his new little friend, out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you? I'm going to Bastard Peeves! I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Repair it. Oh my. We're going way down. Of course. Traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this room. That's it.
else in here? Let's do this first, I guess. this lead when I press and hold Discover the secret. Incendium! Ah, I need to wake up that rune over there. Heavy sleep. Surprising. Guards at the ready. Get that to move.
This must be the way forward, but to where? <laughs> Nearly there. Best keep my wits about me. But it's no longer on my mouse pad. Why do have better gear? It don't look better. <laughs> but it is better. <clears throat>
<laughs> My money's 777, hell yeah. You didn't go off. I have two left. Two left. All right, that's the start. <laughs> It is a book after all. another memory.
You wanted to see me? Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganoff, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to that anyone about cat. what we have discussed here today. Almost two hours. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? Uh, we're eating popcorn. And I just finished. The section you were stuck in. So what I learned is using spells to distract everybody. I didn't use the fire spell they gave me at all. 
What I ended up using was honestly the Accio spell. That I just targeted like way over here. And just did that. And they all went running, like, to go check it out. I started with just, like, shooting regular spells, but, like, I could only get, like, one or two to follow that. Which annoyed me. And I'm like, no, I need this door open, not this door. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Orthodox. It's inconceivable. It's. Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's. Wait. You access the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section, as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Comes the weekend, here it comes. Oh. Like oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? In the second, they were talking to a student who started as a fifth huh? year, like I did. Oh. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. You friends. Rose. So don't neglect your friends, you'll be how surprised what you can learn from them. I said, ew, friends, gross. Kira won't let me have those. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield <laughs> as soon as possible. <laughs> I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. What? I'm comfy. You're wearing shorts. Go in my room for ten minutes until you're comfy. Open your window, bitch. 
Turn your fan on. Get new to you too. Professor Fig and Beasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignment so I can get in. Yes, it's a trident. No, because you're family. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> I don't want to meet Natty. Ugh. She's going to want me to do things. This is the world map. It's gonna want you to go places. I don't remember how to dodge, but okay. Let's go to herbology class. Oh, we got things. Just like it is. Th there, there's nothing in there. You had an exclamation point for nothing. Prove your dueling medal and see if we have a new school champion. Meet me at a useful, the usual place for the final round of Coral Swans. Also, the training dummy is still available. Ew, gross. Absolutely not. That last round was horrendous. Fuck is herbology. Do that, do that. Ravenia. Ding, fries are done. Open says me. Anything out here fun? No, it doesn't seem to be. Okay. I still gotta do this. 
Uh, teeth. I don't need to be invisible. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Pretty sure it's down over here. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special? Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. That chick up there, right? Yeah. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? By doing things. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. But pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! Should you have? Yeah, I'm gonna run right into you, bitch. I really no have made a mess of things. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. Oh, good. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. We the anamastic control. <laughs> that sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I oh, collect the I books and remove the charm way. myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. I know that diary. We're reading it everywhere. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Got it. Only four more to go. I can teleport to the library now. How fancy. I always feel quite safe. 
Lumos. One spell at a time. Hang on. I saw you floating around there. You weren't what I wanted. Where to go? There it is. the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Well, that was a nice little adventure. Have I solved this one yet? Yeah, I got that one. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. What a relief! Thank you! I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Almost. Incendio. Yeah, that's the one we need. Okay, so we light those on fire. Uh, map. to be going to Herbology. That's where I got distracted. Don't talk to me about food. Oh, 
becomes its unlock again. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the belting bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a Tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right, then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting Dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knotgrass. Yes, Professor? Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Picked them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Nifla's fancy, or roses? Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. Yeah, you chomping find cabbage. that some plants that are better suited so to uses fun. outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. 
Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. Nice work in Defense Against the Dark Arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have, if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. And the Hufflepuffs too. At least you do. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Thank you, good friar. I have an issue with my tab button. We're working on that. My, my tab button's it's broken. <laughs> so, I kind of gotta get it unstuck and re retry this. <laughs> No, not Lumos. Tab. There we go. <laughs> no. Stop. No, no, we got it. We got it. We got it. Lumos. No, not Lumos. We're trying to get the tab button back out. I tap the tab button when the tab button's broken. Potato. No, 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 not potato. No Q. Look at that. Well, there we go. Mouths on. Yes. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden. Keep the gnomes out. I got it. I Did got save it. save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a that. dummy. I do just need to figure out why my key wants to. 
I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from the cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. What? I'll see what? you back in class. Oh, I did one. Okay, fine. No, I know the button's stuck again. It's fine. Quest complete. can collect it? Hell yeah. Is there anything else I can steal from here? I mean, borrow? Take? Yeah, I know I need to clean it. I'm not quite sure what got in it. It's just the tab key. I don't know why. reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves i shall end our lesson here terribly sorry mr i attended to the chinese chomping cabbages professor remarkable plants aren't they i hope they weren't too much trouble oh don't see any bite marks or missing digits and good I have a spare as you do seem to somewhere. be quite green I might just that out. oh i'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom could probably just use a good cleaning too Magical Probably plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. But those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Me my damned hearing. Make anything grow. We must first understand. Oh, it's so close. That goes for plants as well as friendship. New Kindness quest. And concern. New quest. I don't want to go to potions class. In the greenhouse, as in the great hall. See if there's anything else I can harvest. While that does its thing. Because I'm sure I'll need that for potions class. That's no fun. Oh, oh. Fuck sweet. Just gotta make that out of here. It's a locked door.
Strawberries are my favorite. It just regrows. Awesome. There's no way out. Did I just come in this door? No, I just came in this door. How do I get out of here? Up the stairs now. That's right. Where do I want to go next? Do we want to go to potions or do we want to go play with a friend? You know what? Let's go play with a friend. Playing with a friend sounds way better than going to another class right now. I probably should, since I, I don't have any potions at all. Because I was big dumb dumb and drank them all. That's a good point. Okay, maybe potions class is the better option. anything there. It just looked like there should be. Oh, yeah, it's on this side. Ha -ha. Ooh, when it's time to come back. Someone chuck a cupcake at me. Harry Pippin certainly steered me right to that room key and potion. His potion shop's better than you'd find in London. Incendio! I'd like to open a shop in Hogsmeade myself one day. Glad Rags could do with some competition. When I'm in Hogsmeade, I always create a job. This looks like a job. Why did you destroy your neighbor, sir? Take you nowhere. Repair him. No, I can't fix him. Okay. No, I am not an architect, but uh, it was my favorite word <laughs> for vocabulary in world history. <laughs> Relief. 
to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. She's always showing off about her cousin. And I've had to explain to so many so people that is an architecture term. And hugs me. Professor Black would never allow that. I saw him all that on Professor Sharp's desk. I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion die. can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. No begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Tell me what to do. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some aye, aye, can be Captain. harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Your face. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the reading. Did I hear Professor My Sharp say that you have permission to go into home, his office? Huh? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. The Gareth face. Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait. Are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one care. tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps this you could grab it for Pokemon me. This is a Pokemon game, sir. I'll Wolver get you the Fwoopa Feather, this game. as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwoopa Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Remember, precision... Not this game. 
is the other game. Ooh, butters. We like butters. Organ and perks. Increase the amount of activity outside the shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night. Suspicious deliveries. Chest. Absolutely, I'm stealing your moolah. Of course it's the purple feather. Why wouldn't it be the bright purple feather? He's gonna notice it's missing. <sighs> Why couldn't it be a black one? A well-prepared witcher wizard always has a few potions on hand. Here's the fufa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Oh, I'm pretty sure we're all gonna know, as you're done this. Should you chop the Didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. to do and now we add the mallow sweet and that's odd what's happening wait it's not supposed I'm to I'm out of oh. here get it again oh now dragon dog what happened <laughs> well done Gareth what now Mr. Weasley Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me- I brewed an Edgerous potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. things about having screens is the ease of distraction. Yeah, a little bit. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I'm gonna hold the hot cold. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Any more secrets around here? Mr. Grumpy Pants. Nothing that stands out besides your locked door. Ugh, my robes are going to reap from Gareth's inspiration.
Okay. Now we leave campus. Because we have... One whole potion. I feel much more confident now with my one potion. Hey, I wanted to jump in the puddle, but they told me no. Let's go. Destroy him. Come on. Lame. Excuse me. Door open, please. Are you insisting I go this way? My siblings and I have all been sorted into the same. What the fuck? Oh, I was supposed to turn there. My bad. I don't like taking paths, apparently. Look, it does. I'm just glad it's not super mad today like it was the other day. <laughs> too fast and miss things though what is best route oh, I'll get there this way you worry too much computer That's why you want me to go around the mountain that way. I'm still collecting things in the woods. What are those? Can I get those? Oh, I can! Poor switches. Oh well.
So this is my path. These are my spoils of war. Um... Uh, I'm not sure when you left. I became an herbologist and a potions master. And now I'm roaming around the forest. To go play with my friend that I don't want. And all these people are getting into my stuff. And I haven't seen a single cat. I don't like it. I feel kind of gypped. Jump over the puddle, jump in the puddle! I give up. I don't know, I just haven't seen them. <gasps> it's a sheep! Can I pet the sheep? about the chicken? Can I pet the chicken? Where'd the chicken go? This is lame. Ooh, there's a quest here. Hello? I'm taking your bag. I want to pet them. It's so bright. I'm blind. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. What could prove dangerous? Falling down the hill? I mean, it could. Potentially. Or that thing. That thing looks fun. Again. Levitate the sheep? <laughs> you want the pumpkin? Oh. Incendium. Well, that's no fun. 
I can't set pumpkin on fire. Look, I found friend. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? Don't worry, Natty. I heard. I got this. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. The port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. I... What does that mean? I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a Daddy. lot to absorb. It, means it is. I got hood magic. And I will have more questions. It's good. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Are oh, you gonna grab a bat and fight too? Let's go! Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rumor Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. No, you be on your guard. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? Dare you threaten me? I will throw hands. I don't know whose house we are. But we master thief. But mummy! Archie, I don't have time to argue. I've told you repeatedly not to stray far from home. Especially when I'm inside with your little sister. But you should see the mummy. I <gasps> oh, don't know how to with unlock the door yet. Oh, that's enough. I'm too tired. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ranrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Oh no, not the paintings. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. 
Here, that is here, very I'll give you kind mine, of you. Sir. I think they took them we'll, to their we'll, camp we'll, southwest of here. Done, Just past here. some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to talk to you. Is it because I'm standing on your stuff? Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. What do you have for sale? I don't want to talk about other stuff yet. What can I help you with today? Ah, yes, a Just wonderful so I have choice. To. That's all I need. I hope to see you again sometime. After what Ranrock did to that goblin nope. banker at Gringos, in the way. I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Orn. chickens to float. to goblin camp. People in the woods. Oh, it's big spider. Ooh. I want to make Frank a pet. I need pet franks. handy that it pulls it to you. Oh, it's cow! Ooh, cow. Beasts, welcome! There's nothing here.
Hey, that cow was minding his own business. Oh, oh. You gonna come after me? Spider Fang. Yeah, you'd think at least each of them would drop one. track. Encampment. This must be it. Looks as if there's more than one way to enter. Okay. Why am I going to an encampment of bad guys? I don't remember. I should probably read this quest. Suggested level number two. Okay. I'm just getting this guy's shit. Got it. You should know better than that by now. Afraid to fight. No, I don't want to fight. He doesn't come round now, he'll be made even more of an example. Got to hit heal. I forget about that button. Ah, shit, I'm stuck in my cord. God damn it. Ah. The fuck is she doing in there? Ah, 
I don't remember how to dodge. Is that the shift button? Lights on with nine eyes on while Luke is laying down alone. Control, okay. Looks as if there's more than one way to enter. How many of you are there? How nice of you. since before you were born. you can do. as if there's more than one way to enter. How many of you are there? An intruder! When the war is over, goblins will rule over wizards at last. What is it? Oh, I'll get you for this! Oh, no! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. 
is he gonna come after me? Something. Now, to Freon's carts. You got a flat cap. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Yeah. Your comically small shoes. Don't make fun of my shoes. an enchantment. The carts are returning to Orm. Uh, I'm on Hufflepuff. But stuff. But 
What is it? But I want to know if, if it's better than what I have. Have them cakes, though. Is this something I need? Like, is this worth bringing with me? a lake oh like probably this lady or somewhere over here oh that lady <laughs> <laughs> Since I gotta come back, we're just gonna <gasps> That's the wrong button. What's over here? <laughs> like one left. I did pretty good with no potions. <laughs> hey! What you getting? Can you give me a glass of water? Any? No, just water. for the bride hey hey 
Oh, why didn't you target? No, you be careful with moving your arm. That was fun. Is that all that is? Is that right here? It was just a pack of wolves? That's all that symbol was? Ooh, fishies! How come I can't pick up the fishies? They did all the fishing for me! And the last one gave me seven. That's rude. made me mad. I just wanted to defeat them. I was determined. I just wanted to defeat the wolves and steal their fur. Love you. Enjoy your robin. While I'm here, let's talk to you. Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, my name is Grace Pinch Smedley. That's of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was Never hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. That's nice. Might you be the one to help me? No. Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. No, it's Splendid. Goes. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, Disgusting. set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We they can't drowned. be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They drowned. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever Have grateful. Fun. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. Oh, I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. Oh, I'm sure it would. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. They must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick! <laughs> Enough out of you. 
Leave her alone. Stupefy! You come to the wrong place. Plan to make quick work of you. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. I see you. Hang on. We can hold Hang them up. up. I'm not going anywhere. Go! You'll take this! You'll get on the first place! I'm going to be in the first place, did ya? Excuse me. So surprised. No, I was focusing on the other two. Ah, that's where you're I'll putting watch me. the light go out of your eyes. Stop right there! Uh, or I'll right take the I'm not going anywhere with you. You'll take this! You <laughs> what on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner, and so close to Hogwarts. Well then. <sighs> Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Yay, Merlin! Merlin? That's two games. Of the legend of King Arthur. The very <laughs> same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know. And I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk... Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. 
I have the mallow sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these incendiaries. Burning beard. The flames make the pyre sink. are back where they started. are meant to be lit. But in the proper order. Incendio! It they seems have to be the lit. fires sink if you don't light the others quickly enough. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. Hello, sir. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade, should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. If you're here for my wares, I'm afraid I still... Arn, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. The ones I faced were determined to make things difficult. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. Woo -woo. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. 
Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. A portrait in our common room wants to talk to you. No. It's Eldritch Diggory. He used to be the Minister for Magic, I think. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? First. What do you have for sale? Let's sell some stuff. What can I help you with today? I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. to see you again sometime. Okay. It hurts me to see it go. Hello, Mr. Cow. I think this was the way to where we were going. I remember this thing. Let's see what this is. There's somebody here now during the day. What's this symbol? Could it be a Merlin trial? Thank <laughs> you. 
I should investigate. Sebastian. Sir, I swear to God. <laughs> No, you don't need to be behind my monitor. No. No, you don't. Absolutely not. I will fight you. Shame you're so foul. I don't know why you're complaining. I want it as a pet. Oh, they're back! Son of a bitch! Fuck this. You're a big butt. Yes, you are. Don't you give me that look. You're the one on my mouse pad. My mouse pad. 
Yes, my mouse pad. No, that's my lap. Sir. Sir, I don't have a camera down there. The camera's up there. The camera's in the baskets. Why are you being a butthole? Oh, God. You're a butthole. Just want you to know this. A moment of your time, please. I'm talking to a painting. You wanted to see me, sir? Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself. So few students know who I am these days. Heldridge Diggory, former minister for magic and founder of the Aura Recruitment Program at your service. I believe Leaving you can you? help solve a decades old murder thanks to that book you found and, in particular, for the fat its one missing later. pages. How do you know about the book? And the pages. We portraits here more than you might suspect, and most of us can keep a secret. Just you know. So, what say you? Surely a Hufflepuff such as yourself would be inclined to help seek long overdue justice. Murder. I'll do whatever so I can. Intriguing. Wonderful. I am pleased to have been right about you. My great niece, Helen Thistlewood, can provide you with details. She's retired now, but was a skilled aura in her day. And the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. I often visit my portrait in her home, in the nearby hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? I shall go and see her right away. Brilliant. With what I suspect is your knack for hard work and her keen mind. Both mysteries may be solved sooner than you think. I shall see you there. Soon, I hope. thing Revenia That's there but Where's the rest of it? Plus five plus one is six plus four, five, six, the salamander. Let's go see if this is the double one. That doesn't make sense. Wait, that count doesn't make sense. Why 
One, two, three, four. Oh, because of the crab looking thing. Duh. Oh. Oh, the right fucking one. Everybody away from the door is my treasure! me, Garrett. Yeah. Do you have a moment? No. no, I'm busy doing shit. Mr. Weasley? That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. You say that, but I don't think that's... Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that frupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. <gasps> you and I your concoctions. Wait. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing wisbies is dried billywigs things. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on Potion's class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke Cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Sounds simple enough. And who wouldn't want to go to Honeyduke's? Ah, brilliant. Thank you. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get... Undo waypoint. Not you like a dark forest. Yeah. Locked because I not high enough level. No. There we go. Oh, I should probably. 
probably call it quits soon. Oh, I got an owl. Oh, I already read it. Big stings for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. Did you get your bit? A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. Hello, door. Now that I have all my gobstones back, I'm ready to take on all challenges. I haven't been this way. Good to know. One. Oh. What I'm doing, I have no clue, but I found it. Down, 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 down. Orange Eye of Newt. Whatever will I do with that? Hello, open little chest. I just ran down to the end first.
this taking me? Is this somewhere I can just teleport to? Oh jeez. I'm not even clicking in the game right now. World map. Hogsfield. So no, it's north of Hogsmeade. Hi, handsome. My foot is so far asleep, I can't feel it. Just want you to know that. Oh, we forgot to record the stream. Looks like this one is not. Going up on uh, YouTube. I might have to record some of my Ravenclaw girl. Just for some content. She's only a little ahead of, I think, where I started today. Oh, well, I wouldn't give for a cup of mushroom tea. What's that symbol? <laughs> Few witches and wizards are... Ah! Oh, he bit me! You little... No! I will bite you back! Few witches or wizards correctly trace the history of Scotland's indigenous mazes back to the rightful source, the 15th century dark wizard known as Unin Blackwood. Born Unin Wood. To a non-magical branch of the Wood family, Unin was misunderstood by his muggle parents and in an effort to fit in sought solace in the family trade hedge trimming. He could allegedly control the black thorn bushes with his mind, creating beautiful designs with ease. This both impressed and infuriated his rather intolerant family. Their resentment only worsened upon young Eunan's invitation to Hogwarts, where he was sorted into Hufflepuff. It was at Hogwarts that Eunan first met one Artemisia Black. Disowned by the Black family for her mother's dalliance with Artemisia's muggle father, the half-blood, Artemisia's relationship with blood purity was a complex one. She considered herself worthy of her mother's maiden name and blamed her father for her atro-
Atras cessation at the same time. She did not fault Wood for his muggle parentage, but rather considered him too an unwilling, innocent victim of muggle impurity. Interesting. So there's supposed to be a mate? But all I see is an arch. Interesting. Oh! Now this is fun. Attention. Up and throw attention. That's all I want. Let my poopy and bag and load with someone random. Intriguing. I feel like I'm running around in a circle. I am. I love mazes. This is this is amazing. I love it. There it is. I can do the human act to you. Uh, maybe I'm through. Yeah. Hello! It says there's a chest here. Is it in your house? It is. I steal your money too! Bye! This must be the place Minister Diggory mentioned. Helen lives around here somewhere. Excuse me, I gotta get the, the little floof floof. Cause I am not walking all this way again. Ugh. I'm pleased to see you took my advice. Madam Thistlewood. I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Uncle Eldridge believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very okay, well. Hang on. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. That sounds terrible. 
but I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Uh, Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jackdaw's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jackdaw's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now, but after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust, and she trusts no one. If you, a student with a connection to the pages, like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne, she might reveal new information. Heck yeah. Oh, what a horrible story. Well, if you think I can help, I'll come with you. This is wonderful news. You are to be commended for your kindness and bravery. Fortunately, being a retired aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. Very well. Let's go. Steady yourself. We'll apparate together. Don't worry. I've never splinched anyone. Do take care now, and tread lightly in that horrible place. We'll be there in but a moment. No that ought to keep them turn into anything. Though, be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. It will pass. Thank you for the warning. This really is a dismal place, but we'll be out of here soon enough. Now, follow me. Do keep your wits about you. Oh, okay. I never thought I'd see the inside of Azkaban for myself. Nasty tormentors. Not even I could convince the Ministry to send them off. There's no need for such monsters. I think I'm going to stop here. Because this is four hours of recording that I have to catch up on. And I don't want to end up too far. Because I don't know how much differs between the houses. Like, I don't know where they start changing the storyline between the houses. Because talking to that painting, that painting's only in the Hufflepuff common room. So I might be in trouble.
with figuring out this recording.